18-year-old Christopher Goosby in court today. His attorney worked out a plea agreement with prosecutors. Goosby pled guilty to disorderly conduct. He gets 18 months probation, has to do 16 hours of community service, and pay a $290 fine. The other player arrested over the weekend, 19-year-old Jeremy McGoldrick. His case couldn't move forward today, so he's scheduled to return to court Tuesday. This all comes after a wild incident Saturday in this Cornelius neighborhood. Washington County Sheriff's Office says Goosby and McGoldrick were in the neighborhood to buy marijuana. They got into a fight with the teenager selling the drug. They left and then came back with friends. And they came back with 13 people. They left again before deputies arrived. They were arrested later at their dorm. Both play football for the university. Their arrest came as a surprise to people on campus. I'm just shocked. I mean, everyone in the area, it's a really close school and community. And even though I'm a commuter, I just feel like it's just surprising to hear and out of the blue. For people living in the neighborhood, it's hard to imagine how something like this could happen. Why can't everybody just get along, you know? What's so important that, uh, you know, you're fighting? Because when big picture is just not worth it. The neighborhood's not too bad, and so, but definitely keep an eye out. Yeah, that's for sure. In a written statement, the university expressed disappointment in what happened. They released that over the weekend. Goosby talked with us briefly as he left the jail just a little while ago. He said that this was not at all about drugs. He said he had gone to the neighborhood to buy some shoes. Someone took a swing at him. He was defending himself. They went back because of a missing phone. Now he's got to wait to see what his future at the university is going to be. Back to you.